Today we're going to talk about mock scrapes. Frankly, they are one of the manager's more underrated tools. Now, you can use them for inventorying your whitetail population, for trying to position deer for a shot, and to try to get them to waste more time on your ground. Remember, we're really talking about this, all of the improvements we're talking about, is really doing little things trying to stack the odds in our favor as much as practically possible. Something as simple as that buck wasting five minutes on mock scrapes before they head over to the property line, that often makes the difference between life and death. The more we can stack the odds, the more little things we can address, the better our odds are of killing that deer or the ones that we don't want to kill getting them that extra year. So, Going back to mock scrapes, one of the things that most people don't realize is how much bucks work scrapes and does and fawns during the middle of summer. You want to go ahead and get an, an inventory on your ground of what bucks I have coming up for this fall to hunt? Mock scrapes are the way to go. Go to those food sources that the whitetails are utilizing and take branches and put them right in front of their face. Now remember, not all branches are created equally. This here, not so good. Now, they're not gonna work this anywhere near as much because it's got thorns. Take branches that are smooth, that they naturally go ahead and use as licking branches anyway, and bend them down into those food sources. Frankly, make them stick out like turd and punch bowls. You do that on those summer food sources, and virtually every buck in that area is going to hit some of those licking branches during the summer and you're going to get an inventory. Time wasting on your food sources, on your trail systems going through the woods. Have as many mock scrapes as you can. Some of them you can go, abs go all out, put your scent drippers out, the scents, the whole nine yards. Others, just simply take that branch again and put it right down into their noses. Now, you can attach branches to trees with wire, with nails, assuming it's your ground and you don't mind putting some nails into some trees. You, know, you can put wires between two trees and hang licking branches down from them. The more obvious turd and punch bowl licking branches you have on that property, on the routes that those bucks are going to take, on those food sources those bucks are going to be hitting, the more time they waste on your ground. A great trick is planting scrape trees. I do this on virtually every food source that's too large to cover with my bowl. What I'll do is just about 20, 25 yards out in front of that stand, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dig a three foot hole. I'll dig that three foot hole, I'll cut down a tree that'll work well as a, as a scrape tree. I will plant it out in front of that stand and then point those licking branches back to that stand. If you do that, the odds are that as those bucks come over to investigate this lick tree, they come to make that scrape, they go like that, they give you a prime shot because you position those licking branches pointing back towards your stand. Also, at the same time, the entire time that buck is working that mock scrape, he's paying attention to that. And I got all day to do this. Mock scrapes are beautiful things. Use them to inventory your bucks. Use them to get your bucks to waste time. Use them on larger food sources to draw them over to you and position them for the shot. Will it work absolutely every time? No, it will not. But all you care about is it working that one time when you're up in that stand with that one buck you want to kill and it's well worth it. Growing Big is brought to you by Wildlife Research Center, the gold standard. Reconics, see what you've been missing. Antler King, bigger bucks, healthier deer. Heater Body Suit, you stay warm or your money back. Food Plots for Deer, planning your habitat improvements and improving your hunting. Ferminator, the best food plot implement on earth. Remington, since 1816, America's oldest gun maker. Just remember when you're doing this stuff, odor control is key. 
cut your odors just like you would when you're hunting because what is working overtime with that buck when he's investigating these mock scrapes? His nose. You do that and you can make mock scrapes work for you.